Police have identified a person of interest in the deadly stabbing of a community activist in Brooklyn. Tonight, Ryan Carson is being remembered as someone who fought to make our streets safer. CBS 2's Ali Bauman has the video of the man police are looking for in this random attack. The last few moments of Ryan Carson's life are on this surveillance video. The 32 year old sits beside his girlfriend at a bus stop on Malcolm X Boulevard in Bed Stuy early Monday while a hooded man walks past. Moments later, the couple starts walking and the hooded man kicks a row of mopeds parked on the sidewalk. He then turns his attention to the couple. Carson can be heard trying to calm the man down. Mr. Carson it begins to immediately tries to de-escalate the situation. Police say the hooded man then pulls out a knife. We're freezing the video before he stabs Carson in his heart, killing him. As Mr. Carson lay dying on the sidewalk, the male with the knife kicks him in the chest, threatens to stab the woman companion, and spits in her face. Moments later, a woman is seen walking over, apologizing to the couple and referring to the assailant as Brian. Police say the assailant had been arguing with that unidentified woman before the attack. They do not believe he knew Carson or his girlfriend. Hello, my name is Ryan Thorson Carson, and I'm a political organizer. Carson was a lifelong activist, most recently working as an environmental staffer for New York Public Interest Research Group. Whenever you work with Ryan on an issue, as a colleague, you quickly become a friend because he was such a warm, endearing, and fun guy to be around. Tributes have been pouring in by candlelight and by post. Mayor Adams writing Carson turned his passion into purpose, and Senator Chuck Schumer describing him as a rising talent and an extraordinary activist. He had a really big heart. He just cared for people and um, I was just so excited about his future. He, he's the next generation of environmental leaders. He's just someone who will be with us, even though he's, he's been taken. Investigators have not made any arrests and are asking anyone who may recognize this man or this woman to call police. In Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, Allie Bauman, CBS2 News.